All right, hello world, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to start implementing the comment feature. Um, and uh, from this video on, we're gonna work on more account-based stuff. So, like a user can actually save their information into like a, an account and we'll keep track of everything, you know, stuff like that. And um, for demonstration, I'm gonna pick this comedy movie that it's um, released actually if you take a look it's just released in december um it's called don't look up um so we're going to use this to demonstrate some of the fun uh comments feature and we'll use this to um you know add some random dummy comments all right so to get started we'll copy the comments icon here from this website so why don't we create a new so how i want to design comments the comments feature is is this give me a second i'm gonna paste this in like that and i'm gonna make sure i have this too so i don't get sued for not copywriting anyway so uh comments right so basically uh, they will click on link and will redire redirect to a comment, right? We can say slash movie slash 64-63-80 slash comment. And then we display a series of comments that we, uh, now we have. Uh, yeah, let's go and get started. So each movie will have a comment. That's for sure. So let's go to movie detail. And uh, you know what? We're going to extend the base. So extend home slash base .html, block title and the block. So this is oh my god i can't okay comments good and i can say block body and block I'll probably put it right okay if i have it then i just need to put the attribution somewhere in there all right i'm just gonna throw it down here so it down there. All right, sweet. So now we're gonna add a section in movie that movie detail, and this section going to be just for commenting. All right, H two, and then then here you can write. Oh god, let's say comments. And we can put a link here. And I can add a HR. All right, Jim don't like this syntax because it's not really necessary. Let's refresh our page, see what we get. Sweet, now I have this comments icon. Basically, when they click on comments icon, they're gonna get redirected. Um, yeah, comments icon. Yeah, so basically when they click on this comment icon, they're going to get redirected to the comment page for a specific movie or TV show. Um, okay, what the heck is this? I have no clue what says. <laughs> I have no clue who's requesting this either. <laughs> Weird log. Well, it is what it is. We'll figure that out later. Um, all right, sweet. Now let's go implement the comment page. So to do that, we'll first say uh, h one comment page four, and then we need to put the title here, right? The title. Um, <clears throat> I can't say anything. And how about this? Let's add a form. 
and obviously for obvious purpose because we actually want to send stuff right um yeah i guess we can just do that uh github alt uh, github copilot help me auto complete this code um and let's go here we'll say comment page request and uh, if request a message equals equals post we will pass else gonna return render request com do you not call comment I just call comments sweet 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 all right so let's go to urls and make sure this is associated with one of them pass comment page <sighs> actually you know what forget that let me do this all right let's wait for it to load all right sweet so um well, I guess we're going to comments that should work. I got type error. Oh, right. We need to have the movie ID up. All right. Uh, what the request should be. Like so, right? Um, well, let's see what we did. How do I get the title? It's damn the title. All right, title equals data bracket title. All right. Oh, we don't want to do this here. Literally forgot. There we go. Now I have the title all sorted out. Um, all right. So then here we can say something like that. Good, good, good. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to create a comment field right a comments field so in here we're gonna say comment equals model the text field and then probably gonna have a user I'm not sure if this foreign key gonna work movie Created at, updated at, mm, yeah, updated at. yeah, that's all we are going to do. That's all we're going to do. And in here, we will need to import it first, obviously, from Django the model. And I, okay. Please can spell Django correctly. Django the models. Oh, not from Django the models. From dot models, I think. Import comment. Good. Now, in here, all we need to do is we can say user equals request the user. Comments equals uh, request the post. I get comment. So that's all we need to do. Now, we're going to create a new comment. Right, comment. So in here we can write well what's the field gonna say? Um obviously comments going to equals to comment. User is going to be equals to user. It's not it's user. Alright, movie ID equals movie. Oh, this is bad idea. No, almost 
It's just gonna be an int integer field. Yeah, cause it shouldn't really. It's not like movie. If you're just a movie ID, so that's all we need to have. Now the potential issue is this might then just fit for. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's okay hmm. for now. Because we also need to make sure TV show is also able to implement, and I don't want to create another class for that. But we'll see how would it go. For now, we're just gonna focus on movie. Movie ID then going to equals to movie ID. <coughs> right? Dot save. Created at um and updated ads right now. And then we can see dot save. Good. And now we can just say return redirect and redirect them back to this page, honestly. It's gonna be yeah. Um, I did not install. Yeah, whatever. This will work. All right, let's see if there's anything else I want to do. I, I don't think so. I think that's all we need. Oh, um, yeah, we need to do this as well. So we need to actually get the comments using this and then make sure we send the comments here. Yeah, so this video, uh, so for now, we're not gonna worry about CSS this thing. We're just gonna make sure everything can render first. All right, so now you might ask, well, what if the user's not logged in? Not logged in, good question. And that's gonna be an anonymous user, right? Anonymous user. So let's take a look what's gonna happen. Hopefully anonymous user work, because I want to be able to load even if it's anonymous user. Response is not, Subscriptable. Huh. Hmm. Request is not subscriptable. Oh. Oh, mistake. Forgot to dot JSON this. This, this data. All right. All right. It's all right. Let's refresh. The screen what we going to load there we go. Oh goodness. Oh right. Um hmm. Comment has no attribute objects. That's not normal. Alright, we're gonna Okay, this is really annoying. What's happening here? Hopefully that's not a virus. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and make migrations. Probably need to do that first. That's not normal. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Did I update Django? Django, um, I don't even know. Dash dash version, is that how it works? Super important, yeah. It's, what's that? What's happening? Oh shoot! I forgot. Oh my god! I'm so. Yeah, I forgot to actually inherit the parent class. Been a while since I did these, you know, SQL uh, ORM with Stringo. There we go. All right, uh, let's run the server. There we go. Get started. Refresh the page. Comments have come made by Hakone. That's not helpful. I will actually to see the rest of the things. It's not random for some reason. Block body. There, that that's a block, right? Block body. Is that what it's called? Oh, it's called block main. Me making some silly mistake. There we go. 
There we go. Now it looks better. All right. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna try to record a comment. It's really fun because it's based on a real event that hasn't happened yet. I don't even know if I use proper grammar. Grammarly gonna have four warnings anyway. Uh, submit. Let's see if it works. Four three. Ooh. Obviously, we need to have CSRF token. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a security feature, so that only this, only this website would be able to send, you know, stuff. Oh my God! Just do a refresh, do a get request. I'm gonna copy this. All right, so I'm going to see what's going to happen. What do you mean it's missing? It's right here. It's right here, CSRF token. Oh, the problem is it's so... <laughs> I need to do more in this. Oh, good for me. You know what? That's the comment I'm going to say. Do you have to refresh the page? Probably. All right, hopefully I can find it because it's CSRF token to work. Submit. All right, let's see, value error. Simple lazy object. Comment user must be a user instance. Let's take a look. Hmm. Okay. Well, parent doesn't accept anonymous. Yep, very anonymous doesn't work. Good, 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 good. Ooh, what if we do this? We could do a really hacky way. All right, do a really hacky way is we create an anonymous user into a user model, but it's not really a real user. It's literally called anonymous user. I don't even know if it makes sense. But we can try that. Don't think that's the best convention to do it. Django. Let's say Django uh, Python Py create super user. <sighs> Good. Anonymous, uh, no, let's call it a non anonymous user. Anonymous user. All right. Good. All right. 
So now I have anonymous user created. Really ridiculous, but all right. Let's go back to views. And here, all we need to do is this. If user dot if request dot user dot is authenticated, if it is authenticated, then we want to do some if it's how about this if not if it's not authenticated in user equals user oh we actually want to import the model from jingo.contrib.os.models import user and in here we can say with user dot object dot get id equal uh, yeah, ID equals one. and oh, I think we're cleared. Let's try again. See what it works. <laughs> Alright, let's do a refresh. Alright, paste the CSRF token for don't look up. We can also add a hyperlink for do, do not look up. Oh my god, bull objects are called. Oh. Oh, it's not a function. So it's a function. Apparently, it's not a function. And that's why you should always trust GitHub Copilot, right? Okay. <laughs> Deleted that. Alright, I'm hoping to do it in one try because if it doesn't work, some comment may be corrupted. And I don't want comments to be corrupted. So if it works. I think it does work. Now, to make sure. To make sure, let's double check what's here. Comments, right? Let's say for seeing comments and or see. Uh, let's take a look if we at least have that object. And if we do have the object, we'll call that for video. Good. All right. So I think that's all we'll be doing for in this video. In the next video, we're going to render this uh, comments object. So it's actually something that we can actually use. <laughs> so I'm sure that's something actually useful. Um, and then we're going to finish implement for movies and for TV show. And then we will start with the syndication systems and stuff like that. Um, but um, yeah, if you have any qu any question or comment, feel free to comment down below. If you have any feature suggestion for this project, also feel free to comment down below. As always, stay safe and have a great rest of your day. And also... Uh, I think I changed the uh, OBS studio, which is the one that's um, the recording software I'm using, to 720 resolution. That's a max like my computer can support. So make sure to check it out on YouTube. Hopefully I have better resolution now. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. That was me. Out.